What's going on, everybody? John again with Grace, Liberty, and the finished work of Jesus Christ. All right. Let's have another drive-by devotional. Thank you, everybody, who drives along with me. All right. So let's talk about the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. Amen. Um, there's a, a million different things that we could say about this. And there's probably been at least a million different messages, studies, uh, and so forth on the Lord's Prayer. But the thing that I was thinking about this morning, as I was meditating on this, is that it is a prayer of a humble person, a prayer of a just a normal, everyday person. Now, that doesn't mean, of course, rich, well off people can't pray to. But it's really a prayer of humility. Let's think about it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So, it's about talking to a father. It's not talking to a genie or some force commanding it. It's, you know, Father. Um, you know, uh, uh, somebody who's above me, but somebody who cares for me. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It's, again, humility. Not seeking the will of and the authority for myself, of myself. But whatever it is that God wants, our Father wants. And asking Him to give us the ability to just accept Him and trust Him. Give us this day our daily bread. This is the one that kind of like stuck with me daily bread you're not asking for excess not asking for riches and things like this it's okay to have money it's okay to be blessed like that but the thing that kills me is these ministers these ministries, preachers, pastors, and people who teach this prosperity gospel stuff. Like, if you have enough faith, God is going to unload money on you. Or is amazingly paying job or the best relationship ever. Jesus, in this context, is just talking to people who don't have a lot. Especially for back then. I mean, it's okay to save up. It's okay to, have, you know, you should, right? Smart. But, you know, humility. Just give me what I need for today. That's all I'm asking for. Just give me what I need for today. It's kind of a callback almost to the Exodus. Because in the Exodus, the manna only lasted a day. They were only supposed to gather what they needed for the day. And then after that, it turned to worms. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Right? No argument. I didn't screw up. Not my fault. I wouldn't have messed up if... Again, humility. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Again, you know, seek, you know, um, 
uh, you know, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. I, I want to, Matthew 6, 33, a few verses after this, actually. You know, your will, your, you know, your wisdom, your way, you know, not my way, you tell me where to go, you know better. And so, it's an amazing prayer, there's a million different things that we can say about it. This is just, I think the thing that struck me this morning as I was meditating on it. So my friends, thank you for driving along with me today. I hope this uh, did something for you. I hope you learned something or brought you closer to Jesus. And uh, thank you. And thanks again for driving along. God bless my friend.